Tashi Delek, a greeting word in Tibetan. It means auspicious and goodness. So it can be used for any auspicious and good moment. This is Doma and I'll be guiding you to speak in Tibetan in the simplest method. And I can assure you that if you practice following chapters, you will be speaking Tibetan in no time. So why wait? Let's practice together. Unit 1, Chapter 1. Personal pronouns and in first person. So in English, we have I. And in Tibetan, it's called Ma. Ma. Ma is also one of the 30 letters of Tibetan alphabet. Now let's learn a new substantive verb, M. So for M, it's Yin. Yin. All right, now let's learn a new word. For Tibetan, it's Purpa. Purpa. All right, now we have got three words. That's Nga, Yin, and Purpa. Let's make a sentence. I am Tibetan. So how do you say, I am Tibetan? Nga, Purpa, Yin. Nga, Purpa, Yin. So that's Nga, Purpa, Yin. All right. Now you can also use your name. So if I say I am Doma, that's Nga Doma Yin. So you Tashi Delek, Unit One, Chapter One Point One. Adding indefinite article. Following particles are put after the noun, respectively, according to its final letter. They signify a. N, any, some. Chick. Chaki kuchika chick. Chick. Chaki kuchika chick. Chick. Chaki kuchika chick. All right. Now, let's look for some example. How do you say a book? Thep chik. So in Tibetan for book it's thep. Thep. So when you say a book, it's thep chik. Thep chik. All right. In Tibetan for dog, it's ki. Ki. So how do you say a dog? Ki shik. Ki shik. All right. So after following these two examples, you can add chik, shik, shik. These indefinite articles with new words that you learn in following chapters. All right, now let's make a sentence with or without articles. So how do you say, I am Tibetan? Nga Purpa Yin. Right? Nga Purpa Yin. All right, now let's see the change. So if we add articles, how do we say? I am a Tibetan. Unit 1, Chapter 2. Let's look at personal pronoun and in second person. So for you, in Tibetan, it's K. K. Alright, now let's look at our second person substantive verb. That is for R, it's RE. RE. 
All right. And our new words will be for student. So that will be lop took. Lop took. All right. Now we have second person and personal pronoun and our second person substantive verb and our word for student. So now let's make a sentence. How do we say you are student? Ke lop tuk re. Ke lop tuk re. All right. Now let's look at our next sentence. So for boy in Tibetan it is pu. Pu. All right. Now if you say you are boy that will be ke pu re so for you it's ke r would be re and for pu or for boy it's pu so our sentence is ke pu re all right and if you add indefinite article as in english you are a boy in Tibetan, it would be ke pu shik re. Ke pu shik re. Okay, now let's go to a next step. So, how do we make a negative sentence? So, negative sentence using negative substantive verb. So, our verb would be mayin mare mayin and mare all right now we have our sentence i am student ma loptuk yin so let's make it negative i am not student all right so our negative sentence for i am student would be ma Loptuk mare. Ma loptuk mare. Or it could be ma loptuk mayin. Ma loptuk mayin. All right. And let's look for our next sentence. You are girl. So earlier we have learned that for boy it's poo. And for girl, it's going to be pomo. Pomo. All right. So, how do we say you are girl? Ke pomo re. Ke pomo re. All right. Now, and our negative sentence for you are not girl would be ke pomo mare. Net one. Chapter 4. Tashi the lake. Now let's move on to demonstrative pronoun. So for this in Tibetan, it's di. Di. Alright. And as earlier, our substantive verb for is would be re as well. So that's re. Re. All right. And our new words would be for computer. It's lok le. Lok le. And for pen, it would be nyu ku. Nyu ku. All right. Now let's make a sentence. This is computer. This in Tibetan is the and for is that will be re and for computer lok le. So for this is computer in Tibetan it would be the lok le re. The lok le re. All right. And for our second sentence. This is pen. It would be the 
nyuku re di nyuku re all right now we have two sentences and if you try to make a negative sentence of them it would be this is not computer so for this is not computer it would be the lokle mare di lokle mare and for our second sentence this is pen our negative sentence would be this is not pen and that in tibetan would be di nyuku mare di nyuku mare all right okay now let's move on to our second demonstrative from pronoun so for that in tibetan it would be the the and as earlier our substantive verb for is would be re re all right and our new words are for school it's lopta lopta and for hospital it would be men kang men kang all right so let's make a sentence for that is our school so how do we say that is a school so for that it is the and for is it is re and for a that is for indefinite article it would be shik and our word for school is lopta so the sentence that is a school would be the lopta shik re the lopta shik re all right and our next sentence that is hospital which is without any indefinite articles that is hospital the men kang re the men kang re all right so now we have learned four new words our first word new word being computer which is in tibetan lokle for pen it is nyuku nyuku and our third word for school is lopta lopta and for hospital it is men kang men kang and our demonstrative pronoun which is this and that for this it is di di in tibetan 